So you're thinking about moving to St. Matthews, Kentucky. My name's Sawyer and I'm a realtor here in Louisville and I get calls, texts, emails, DMs all day every day from people just like you that are planning on moving to the city and moving to the St. Na Matthews neighborhood. And I wanted to film this video to let you know everything that you need to know about the St. Matthews neighborhood. I've been living in Louisville for nearly a decade and have had so much experience with this neighborhood. I wanted to share with you all of the important local haunts, all the things that you need to know, all the pros and cons of working with so many people moving to this neighborhood and interacting with it so much myself throughout my life here in Louisville. So let's get into it. Pro number one is going to be that you have access to everything. St. Matthews is right in the heart of the city, and so if you want to get anywhere in Louisville, you're only about a 10 to 15 minute drive from St. Matthews. I've got a list here. You're about 10 minutes to the airport, 15 minutes to downtown, 20 to 30 minutes out to the east end. So if you wanted to go visit some friends over in Crestwood or Oldham County, you're about 25, 30 minutes maybe 30, 45 minutes if you go pretty far, maybe if you're headed out to LaGrange to visit some folks out there in a little bit more rural area. You're about 25 minutes down to Shepherdsville in the south end outside of the 265 highway that sort of demarcates the Louisville metro area. You're 25 minutes to Simpsonville, to the outlet malls out to the east end and there's a lot of good shopping to be had out there that's a little bit more rural a little bit higher end and a little bit more of that horse country that people talk about when they talk about kentucky now if you really want horse country then you've got to go out to lexington where really all the horse folks are at and that's about an hour away from louisville and an hour away from st matthews you're also only about two hours away from some other major big cities, two to three hours. So you're about two hours from Indianapolis, an hour and a half, two hours up to Cincinnati. You're two and a half hours from Nashville. Wanted to make sure I had all of those times right because Louisville doesn't really have a whole lot of stuff in terms of vacation destinations, mountains, beaches. We don't even really have lakes in Louisville, although you have some over like towards Taylorsville to the southeast of here. There's not a lot of things to do in terms of vacation destinations, but there are a lot of good day trips that you can take. You can go up to an Indianapolis Colts game or a Bengals game over in Cincinnati. You can take a weekend trip down to Nashville. Uh, you can also take a weekend trip over to Asheville, North Carolina, to go see the Biltmore or just kind of visit that cool town. My wife and I just did that for my birthday in the last few weeks, and it's a really cool place. We really encourage people that are coming to Louisville to try and visit some of these other cities because there's a lot of really cool places that are not super far away from Louisville. So I would say that's the first and maybe most important pro of St. Matthews is that it's got access to everything and it's only about 10, 15 minutes away. Um, that's a really big deal, especially for folks that are moving here that are going to be university students and uh, people that are moving to work maybe in the downtown area in the financial district or uh, that kind of want something that's close to downtown but maybe also close to the east end. Uh, a lot of people tend to like that area over there as well. Lots of good shopping and restaurants and all that kind of stuff over on the east end of Louisville and St. Matthews being so centrally located is one of those really great places to stay and to live. The second pro of St. Matthews is its shopping and you're going to see that there is so much shopping to be done in St. Matthews. It's probably the number one pastime. There's a lot of other stuff that you can do that's not exactly shopping related that's kind of more experiences but 
just right in the heart of St. Matthews, we've got Shelbyville Road Plaza. We've got the Mall St. Matthews across 264 on the other side of the bridge there. You've got the Oxmoor Mall, um, and there's so many stores in there. I mean, I, I wrote down just a few. Uh, you've got Guitar Center, Trader Joe's. You've got a Nordstrom Rack, a Nike Outlet. You have one of my favorite places right across from Shelbyville Road Plaza called Royal Fine Jewelers, which is right next to Nothing Bunt Cakes, which is this cool place that makes all these different kinds of bunt cakes. Um, my, I, uh, I got my wife's engagement ring and wedding ring at Royal Fine Jewelers right there in St. Matthews. So that holds a really special place in my heart. But there are like 130 stores at the Mall St. Matthews. There's probably 50 stores, if I had to guess, at Shelbyville Road Plaza. Um, and then over across the bridge, kind of in more of the Linden area, I, I suppose. Um, you've got Oxmoor Mall. There's a new restaurant going up there. As of now, it's January 19th of 2023. And there's the Capitol Grill that's coming up there. You've got California Pizza Kitchen. You've got Warby Parker Store. You've got the Apple Store. Um, you've got a Madewell that my wife loves to go to all the time there. Uh, there's a cool little Oxmoor Mall smoke shop uh, that's got like pipe tobacco and cigars and all that kind of stuff there that just smells amazing in Oxmoor Mall. There's so many different cool stores that you can go to. Um, not to mention all the amazing food and local coffee, uh, which is just such a huge thing in in Louisville in general, and especially in St. Matthews. I mean, you've got some of the best restaurants, some of the best food really I've ever had is, is right there in St. Matthews. Um, we've got some really great Thai places. We've got some great uh, kind of Mexican, Tex-Mex kind of places. Uh, one of my favorite spots is a coffee shop that just opened up down on uh, Willis in St. Matthews that is a longtime Louisville favorite of mine and, and lots of folks, which is called Soonergoss Coffee. Um, I never really got the chance to go to this one while I was in college because it just opened up. But for the years that I was in college here in Louisville, I would drive 15 minutes over from uh, Crescent Hill, where I went to school, over to Preston Highway to go to Soonergoss off South Preston Street. And I would show up many, many mornings uh, early, like 6.30, and study. I would meet people there. I'd go on, you know, coffee dates before I was married um, to the Soonergoss there. I love that area. Um, I love coffee, and coffee is just such a huge part of Louisville culture. Uh, you'll learn that if you come here, you'll get probably asked to a million different coffee dates with friends or coworkers or whatever. Uh, it's just such a huge part of our scene. And so we're a big foodie kind of shopping and uh, and coffee coffee place, and you'll definitely figure that out. That's a huge, uh, a huge part of our culture and the culture there that they have in St. Matthews. Um, the third thing that I really want to focus on is the beautiful homes that they have in St. Matthews. You'll find uh, that St. Matthews has some of the prettiest homes in the whole city. What you won't find is a lot of really big pieces of property um, because you're going to find that St. Matthews, if you do some of the research, and, and I'll tell you now, about 10 years ago, a lot of people moved into St. Matthews, a lot of real estate investors, and they took a lot of these homes from the early 20th century, built in the 20s, 30s, 40s, and they really took homes that weren't in great shape, were sort of in disrepair, and they flipped them and they brought them all the way to the top of the market and made them these amazing homes that now sell for really super, super top dollar and are some of the most beautiful homes in the whole city and they are right in the center of it. And so that's what makes St. Matthews one of the most beautiful areas in 40207, specifically the zip code that St. Matthews is in. It's just one of the most beautiful zip codes in the whole of our city. And with that, there's a flip side to that, which is going to segue us pretty nice into the um, con side of things, which is that 
St. Matthews can be expensive. Uh, it's about $100,000 higher in terms of its median sale price than the rest of our MLS in terms of single family homes. So if you want to look at some of the numbers, the as of December of 2022, the median sale price in the 40207 where St. Matthews is was $353,000. The median sale price for single family homes for the whole MLS was $253,000. So you've got a $100,000 difference there from the whole MLS to this specific region. Our most sold volume price is between two hundred dollars and $300,000 in the city. Um, and so you're going to find that St. Matthews is a little bit pricier and you're going to pay excuse me, a premium for living in this area, but it's worth it for a lot of people. I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about some of the folks that I worked with that are just some of the sweetest people. Uh, I'm not gonna disclose any of their personal information or anything like that, but I will say, I got their permission to say, they are this amazing couple that moved from New Zealand and actually somewhere else in the country as well, but I'm not going to disclose that. And their long-term goal is to move back to New Zealand and serve as a pillar in their community and as a, as a blessing to their community. And they needed to come to Louisville to get the education that they wanted to be able to go back and do the thing that they wanted to do. And so I had the pleasure of getting to work with them a little while ago now. And they had several criteria, but the number one was that they wanted to be close to the school that they go to. And so the place that popped to my mind right off the bat was St. Matthew's, right in the heart of everything, so close to everything. But they were folks who they had a pretty good income stream and and. A lot of folks that I meet that are students don't necessarily have that, but these people did. They had good income, good revenue, and they were able to afford kind of whatever they wanted. And so they ended up landing in something in St. Matthews in the low $300,000 range, and they made it their own, and they made it beautiful. And it was perfect for them. And that's the case for a lot of folks that I work with. Like I said, I get calls, texts, emails, DMs every day. Just like that, people have a story. They want to come here. They are interested in one of these neighborhoods. And just like my people that I'm telling you about, they called me up and they said, hey, what might be some good places for us to check out? And so I had a conversation with them about their interest and their needs. And St. Matthew's was the place for them. But they had the income to support it, and not everybody does. And that's why our first con for this neighborhood is the price. It's definitely on the upper end of our area. However, there are also some homes uh, that might not always fit into those categories. Usually St. Matthews is, as of now, between the three and $400,000 range, but sometimes you'll find some stuff that's in the mid to high $200,000 range that's a little bit more affordable for people. And on the flip side, according to the National Association of Realtors, the median sale price in December of 2022 was $400,000 across the country. And so for that time, our median sale price in 40207 in St. Matthews was $353,000. So that actually puts us and puts the folks that are over there in St. Matthews, puts them below the national median, I should say. I think I may have said average, but below the national median. So it's really relative. It really kind of matters where, where you're at and what your own personal needs are. So it's hard to answer questions like, is it expensive? Well, it's it depends if it's expensive for you or not. The second con that I have for St. Matthews is, again, one that's not particularly St. Matthews related as much as it is just Louisville in general. The schools in Louisville are not the best. I've talked about the public school system on my channel before. JCPS is not the greatest. You can go to greatschools.org, which is a super great website, which ranks schools kind of across the country. And you'll find that most of the public high schools in Louisville are not all that great. There are some exceptions, and, and I'll leave that up to you to, to do the research there. But 
we have a weird system where it's not exactly clear where your child might be placed depending on where you're at. Some of our schools feed into schools that aren't exactly close to where you live and not all of the schools rank super highly. And so you need to do your research based off the particular address that you are looking at when you're looking at any address in Louisville especially addresses in St. Matthews. And that's something that you need to be aware of. A lot of folks tend to do private school or homeschool or move to one of the other counties outside of Jefferson County because their schools can be a little bit better than Jefferson counties are. And so that's definitely a drawback for a lot of people. The final con that I have for the city of St. Matthews is that there can be a lot of traffic. So it is right in the city center. It's very busy, especially when people are getting off work at five o'clock, when people are going to work at, you know, seven, eight in the morning. It can be very, very busy. It can be one of the most congested places in our city. Again, that's sort of relative. So if you're used to somewhere like New York or California or Dallas or somewhere like that where you might be in traffic for an hour, two hours trying to get to your destination, another one that comes to mind is Washington, D.C., you're going to be used to stuff like that. And Louisville traffic is really not going to compare to that. You might be stuck in traffic in most situations at most maybe 30, 45 minutes at the longest. You're not seeing a lot of these two hour backups like you do in some other places in the country. However, 5 p.m. traffic, if you're from a small town where there's you know one stoplight and you never ever have any traffic to worry about, then you need to, you need to be concerned and you need to plan accordingly. Um, all of that to say, there are a lot of pros and a lot of cons, and we could go on for a long time about all the little intricacies of living in St. Matthews, but these are a few of the factors that I think are most important to consider when you're moving to St. Matthews. And if you want to see some of the homes that are available in St. Matthews or some of the homes that exist in St. Matthews, because there is often a lot of competition, I actually have a tour of the neighborhood where I walk around and I show you what it's like to live in St. Matthews. And you can click on the video up in the corner, whichever corner it's in, and it'll take you right there. And I'm going to show you what it's like to live in St. Matthews. So if you like this video, please leave it a like. If you're interested in moving to the area, you can reach out to me at my email below or my phone number, which is listed in the description. Feel free to email me or text me or call me with any questions that you have. And if you like this video, please like it, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.